War Diary Day 589 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Yesterday, the Russians sent an anti-ship missile, killing 50 people. They also hit a hospital. Uh, the reports of Russian torture of Ukrainian prisoners of war are are unbelievable, but I know them to be true. In very, very simple terms, I myself helped um, Aidan Aslin write his book, Putin's Prisoner. Sean Pinner has written his own book, Live, Fight, Survive. And the two together are just a little bit of testimony, all going to the same point. Ukraine allows the Red Cross to visit Russian prisoners of war kept here. Russia bans or stops the Red Cross from doing it there. Let the West use its economic power. We are so much richer than Russia. Let's say to Russia th this, we're going to kick all your banks off the international banking system in one month's time unless you allow access for the Red Cross to Ukrainian prisoners of war. Okay, you've got that. You either honour your international, international standards or you're thrown out of the international money system. Which is it, Russia? Let's hold Vladimir Putin's feet to the fire. Let's send him a message. If you do not honour your international obligations, if you do not look, give access to the, the Red Cross so they can check up on Ukrainian prisoners of war in the way that Ukrainians allow the Red Cross here, then you, that's going to cost you. OK? Let the West use its economic power to send a message to the Kremlin. You've got to do better than this, Russia. In other news, our festival, the Vladimir Putin Do Fuck Off Festival, starts tomorrow at Cult Motive here in Kyiv, but you can watch it live, uh, through live stream. Please donate via VPDFO or, or the crowdfunder VPDFO. Oh, and a simple message of Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off. Love from Keith. <laughs>